not very many people at Duchess. I love such time uh, when very silent. No neighbors around, no kids who produce a lot of noise. So you often ask about the fans. Why we have fences, why we have fences, so horrible fences. Um, so I have to say that I also do not like those fences, like you see here, the brown one. Usually we have such fences, they can be of different colors, green, uh, dark red, brown, sometimes white or gray but most of them are out of metal. That is done because um, our um, duchess are very small. Uh, the average size of duchess is about 600 square meters. That is about 20 by 30 meters. So in Russian that is called 6 sotok. Sotka that is 10 by 10 meters. Some people have 400 square meters or even 300 square meters. That is, well, not much. But the neighbors around, they are constantly near the fence. I speak about my situation. So we have uh, three neighbors uh, around and they are always nearby. So when we come to Dacia, we see them near our border. I do not feel some kind of privacy that is like guys uh, in the park when you come to the park you see a lot of people around uh, but well i think that is a little bit different uh, for americans i think it is clear uh, such term as cabin uh, many people have cabins somewhere in mountains for example or in forests uh, so uh, that is some kind of privacy, some private land, some silence around. So here when we come to Dutchie, we also expect some, um, some privacy, but uh, with such uh, small pieces of land that we have, it is difficult to have that privacy. It is forbidden to put fences between Dutchess only from the road you can protect your dachi. Uh, some people put fences between daches, but that is if the neighbors uh, are not against such fences. Otherwise, you can put just uh, uh, not a very high fence, and uh, that fence had to be with some, I don't know how to say, like metal net, for example, or if there is a wooden fence, there has to be some open spaces for the air circulation. So that is done for the plants, but uh, as for people, well, no privacy. And all our neighbors are usually jumping around the fence somewhere near the border. For example, we have three neighbors. With that neighbor, we came to the conclusion that we can put the fence. And that is great that we do not see her because she is constantly near the fence. She has the oven nearby and she is constantly, almost constantly there, cooking food or sitting. So, uh, as for this neighbor, they are against the fence and about four or five people are jumping here constantly. So we observe them and they observe us. I don't know why, but well, they are against. We offered to put uh, the fence and to pay for the fence 100%, uh, but they said no. I don't know guys why they are so stubborn. They do not grow anything here just some storage of bottles and wires and some i don't know barbecue zone uh, so no plants here but well they are against the fence and uh, what you see here that is one of the decisions that are legal uh, one and a half meter fence with such a net on this side, guys, is about the same. Also, you can see the net uh, on the fence. Uh, we put some 
uh, bushes here there is uh, black current and red current bushes so they protect somehow the view uh, but well in general that is also not very nice to see her here uh, that is the entrance to her house about three meters four meters from uh, the fence and as far as you can understand when she walks into the house or out of the house we see her uh, here two people uh, the old woman and her daughter and that is guys the only legal metal fence that you can put uh, that is from the side of the road so behind this fence is the road uh, where cars drive while we are here, let me show you what is new at our dacha. So as you can see, we have, I think, two big bushes, dry bushes. So every autumn we cut dry branches and the branches we do not like. So at the moment you can see a lot of here. So And also Alex started to paint the barrel. Uh, the black one is almost ready. I don't know why uh, such a strange spot over here. Alex also cannot understand uh, why two thirds are like this and one third is, well, very, very strange. Uh, so the next step will be the green barrel. I think it will be more stylish because at the moment we have green, blue, red. I think black ones will be better. We still have zucchini, good zucchinis this year. Uh, my mom gave me seeds, zucchini, which is called zucchesha. So very, very good zucchini this year. Over here you can see the boards. Alex has prepared the boards for oven. We have a small oven, so to heat during the winter time. So, as for that pile, so uh, that pile is just waiting. Uh, the boards are waiting for their turn. So a lot of bad boards there. Alex will also cut them. Uh, the good boards he will use in the construction. In the beginning of spring, Alex uh, built here the raspberry farm, <laughs> as we call it, so some metal sticks. Here he planted several raspberry bushes, the gift from my sister. We still have a lot of green berries over here. You see, a lot of green berries. Uh, so today is almost the middle of September. Uh, here behind uh, the house everything is not very picturesque uh, so next year Alex is planning to build such a metal farm <laughs> raspberry farm over here uh, the metal tubes to support the bushes uh, but at the moment that is just some metal sticks over here uh, this side is better than uh, the first place uh, because here more sun uh, from uh, that side over here we have grapes just one a bush of grapes this year we had a great harvest I will insert the episode uh, when we harvested grapes from this bush this time guys I would like to boast a little bit in spring uh, we replanted our old bush such as grapes it was a uh, growing in another place and this spring uh, we decided to put it here on the sunny side of our garden so it is in front of the house and we have very good harvest incredibly yummy grapes i have already tested mm. very juicy very sweet from this side it's better a view you see very big berries Sheffield Sheffield does not like 
vegetables or fruit. He prefers meat. 